好，第三条啦，改改题目去咯，重新做多次嘅实验。不过呢，喺个透析管出面嘅 solution Q 呢，就转咗做呢个蒸馏水。咁我就问返啦，会有啲咩结果呢？能够睇得见嘅？咁其实四个答案呢，都有关于呢个 liquid level 嘅，究竟啦喺呢个微管嘅 liquid level 究竟会有啲咩嘅转变呢？一系呢，就升都唔升下，一系呢，就升得比过往少，一系呢，就升得比过往多，一系呢，就同过往升嘅水平呢係一样嘅。咁其實成條題目呢，都係考返我哋，究竟有啲咩嘅因素係會影響到個滲透速度嘅？咁根據第二條嘅概念呢，其實本身喺 solution Q 呢都有少少嘅溶質㗎啦。咁但係呢啲水係仍然有滲透作用呢，就係、是、由個 solution Q 入去 P 啊嘛。咁即係話啦，本身 solution Q 呢個水勢應該比 P 為之多㗎啦。但係而家啦，再變成嘅呢，就係一個蒸馏水添。蒸馏水大家記得嘅就係呢，佢係有最高嘅 water potential 嘅。所以當我哋轉咗做蒸馏水之後呢，喺個 solution P 同埋呢個蒸馏水之間個水勢階梯呢，應該係比頭先第二條嘅情況呢係為之大嘅。咁會導致到啦，唔單止滲透速度會快咗，亦都會有多啲嘅水嘅分子呢係會進入咗透析管入面。咁所以答案呢就係 C 啦。所以 question three we modify and repeat the experiment if the investigation is repeat with the water instead of the solution Q. So what will be the result? So we can take a look at the possible answer. So the focus Of the result is the liquid level in the capillary tube, and there are four possibility: will not rise at all, rise to a lower level, rise to a higher level, and rise to the same level. So the whole question is checking the factor affecting the rate of osmosis, and it's about the water potential gradient. Based on question two, there are solute in the solution Q. So, however, there was still osmosis from solution. Q to solution P, so that means the water potential of solution Q is higher than that of the solution P. And now we are talking about the distilled water, and you need to recall the concept that the distilled water they has the highest water potential. Question three: After the modification, the water potential gradient between the solution P and the distilled water is greater than before. Therefore, it will not only increase the rate of the osmosis, but also increase the amount of water getting into the dilated tubing. So that's why the liquid level should be higher than before. And the answer is C.